Hi, my name is Peter Morgenstern. I am a uh, pediatric neurosurgeon at Mount Sinai Gravis Children's Hospital. So fortunately for our um, kids everywhere, brain tumors are relatively uncommon uh, when occurring in children. So fewer than five uh, in every 100,000 children will experience a brain tumor in their, in their childhood. Um, so they are rare, but they are the, among the more common um, solid tumors that occur in kids. Um, so they're sort of right behind the, the blood cancers, leukemia um, specifically. So brain tumors can be caused by a lot of different things in children. Um, for the most part, what we see is kids developing tumors of what are called embryonal origin. So they develop from cells that are primitive or from the early stages of the embryo um, and go on to uh, incorporate mutations uh, that lead to tumor development. And this, this leads to many of the childhood brain tumors that we see although there are a number of others that are caused by things that we haven't yet uh, discovered. And then there are a few that are caused by potentially environmental exposures like radiation, although the links um, between those exposures and the actual tumor development are not incredibly clear uh, at, at, at all times. And then lastly, there are um, some children with what are called uh, cancer predisposition syndromes who have um, mutations in their genetic code that make them more likely to develop tumors of all kinds, including brain tumors. Children uh, who have brain tumors will often present with signs of elevated intracranial pressure. And what that means is that the pressure is rising in the brain, either because of the size of the tumor or because of a blockage of fluid causing a condition called hydrocephalus. Um, so these children will often develop uh, a combination of headache, vomiting, fatigue, or lethargy, uh, and sometimes uh, even progressing to coma if it's very severe. Um, the other findings that we sometimes see in children who are initially have, um, presenting with a brain tumor are things like a seizure uh, or a focal neurologic deficit, like a, a weakness in the arm or the leg uh, or difficulty speaking. And that often has to do with the location of the tumor. Uh, rather than the tumor itself. So as I mentioned earlier, with regard to what causes brain tumors, we found that there are certain types of tumors that do occur more commonly in children. Um, some of the more common ones include things like low-grade astrocytomas or pilocytic astrocytomas, which can be curable with surgery. Um, some of the others like medulloblastoma, which tend to occur in the back of the brain, uh, or optic pathway tumors. Uh, these are also low-grade tumors that tend to occur in the area between the eyes and the, and the visual cortex in the back of the brain. Um, and lastly, there are a few tumors that occur in the area of the pituitary gland, like craniopharyngioma, that we tend to see more commonly in children. So the treatment of a brain tumor in a child depends heavily on what type of tumor it is. It runs the full gamut from surgery alone, providing a potentially curative treatment to um, patients who may need radiation alone or chemotherapy and radiation alone with no surgery. Um, and then all everything in between from a biopsy followed by uh, medical or radiation treatment followed by more surgery or some other mixture of, the, of all of the above. Um, and we really choose what is considered to be the best strategy depending on the type of tumor we're dealing with and the best available evidence that we have um, at, at, our, at our fingertips.